why don't we start talking about patients who present with metastatic disease? So these are patients who either present with metastatic disease or after a local resection develop metastatic disease. They're now in the medical oncology clinic. Um, clearly, they're not disease that we can clear with resections or local procedures. So, Victor, what is your approach to those patients? And in your mind, what are, what are the base outcomes that you generally think about when you see these types of diseases and what are you trying to change? So in the setting of metastatic disease, it's always a very clear conversation with the patient that this is incurable. Even if it's oligometastatic where we think, you know, long term, this is still metastatic disease. It's, it is spread beyond one area. And so I discuss with them, look, there's always a balance of what we're doing. On one side, you have quality of life, which can be very important. The other side is toxicity from therapy, whether it be active or not. And, and, um, and everyone has a different balance in that regard. And, and some, will, some will accept dramatic toxicities to, take, you know, to have some extra life. Others will not. And so to, from the very beginning, I, I try to be very clear and say, okay, what are your goals? How can we achieve those goals? And what options do we have to do that? And yeah. so I think in uh, the best data we have to date with, uh, um, with that balance of a kind of increasing efficacy and overall survival benefit and minimizing toxicity has been the exciting data you've shown before with the olertamab, right? This is a drug that acts as an extender for, for doxorubicin, for, which is one of our best drugs, but it's also very limited to how much we can give. It's, unfortunately, we can only give a certain amount of dosing before we start seeing unacceptable toxicities. And so if we can extend that efficacy with a drug that has minimal toxicities, that, that's a, a win. And, and I think we've, we're getting there. And so uh, that, usually that's where I start. Yeah, and, and I, I guess, uh, Alara aside, when we looked at some of the earlier data, the EORTC with uh, first-line treatments for patients with newly metastatic disease, I think median overall survival with doxorubicin was 14 months. I, I think the GEDIS trial looking at gemcitabine docetaxel versus doxorubicin was similar. Some of the later studies, the polyphosphamide study and the evophosphamide study suggest that it may be on the order of 19 months. Um, but do you think about these numbers when, when you meet a patient, or is it specific to what the patient's telling you? I think, you know, I'll, I will think about the numbers. I honestly don't have a conversation with the patients about the numbers specifically, because it's not clear to me that that, uh, that that adds a lot of information. It can perhaps be anxiety provoking. Um, I do think it's important, though, uh, to Victor's point, that sort of involving the patient in that conversation I will set expectations um, early with patients about uh, what I think is reasonable. If a patient comes in and their expectation is that the disease is going to disappear and stay away forever, um, there's, they may be setting themselves up for disappointment. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I actually try to set an expectation from the start that uh, quality of life is extremely important. We're going to balance that with, with the toxicity of the regimen. If my therapies are going to hurt them more than help them, then that's probably not a therapy that's worth giving. Um, and that for me, stable disease is good in sarcoma. And for a lot of patients and for many of our community-based colleagues, I think that's something that they uh, may struggle with wrapping their head around. We're, it's ingrained us that we want our therapies to shrink the disease. I think in sarcoma more than any, any of the other cancers, we may not see that shrinkage. So stabilization is good, shrinkage is good, disappearance, very good. Unlikely. Um, <laughs> but setting yeah. expectations I think is important.